multiple treatment reversal design. <laughs> Brad just did one of these because he's been really trying hard to get me to clap before the beginning of each video. That way when he edits, it's easier. Um, hmm, interesting. So, so he reinforces me it's so increasing. I can reinforce him. It's re yeah, well, actually it decreased earlier. Now it's coming back anyway. Uh, so multiple treatment reversal designs. So multiple, it's just a reversal design. It's an ABAB design, but you're using multiple treatments, right? Uh, so for the baseline, you could have a DRA, and then for the B condition, you could have DRI, and then back to the DRA, and then back to the DRI. Uh, for lack of a better example, you could do it with a, oh, you could do a reinforcing condition, and then you could do a punishing condition, a reinforcing condition, and a punishing condition. Uh, oftentimes we think of baseline as nothing, but that doesn't have to be the case. Uh, baseline just has to be what you started with, right? So whatever conditions you're working with now, whether that's treatment A or treatment B or treatment C or treatment D, treatment, whatever, you can just use that treatment using that same logic of the reversal designs or the withdrawal designs. You can just simply tease apart the effects of two different uh, treatments. So, uh, so again, multiple treatment, reversal, design. That's it.